Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Marled Moonlocker. In today's video, we are going to be finishing up our second tote from the huge haul of nail polish that I got on Facebook Marketplace, over 2,000 bottles. This is our second tote. Prior to this, we did five grocery bags full of 100 bottles each. Those were what initially caught my eye on Facebook Marketplace. Those were originally listed for $25 each, and I ended up getting the entire car full of nail polish essentially for $400. So we're going to go ahead and try to finish up the rest of the bottom of this tote. We still have a lot of Rescue Beauty Lounge in their boxes. We've got juleps, fun lacquer, parrot polish, and a lot of other polishes not in boxes. So we're going to see if we can't finish this off in this video. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. The first one is this Rescue Beauty Lounge. Ooh, this was a limited edition and it is possibly signed by the maker. This one is called Abby or Ab. Ab something. Now I remember running across a label kind of like this from this brand before where it had been partially blacked out and I don't know if that means that there was a mistake made or if it was an oops batch or what the case was. Let's see what this one is. Oh my, this is quite the green polish. Wow. So actually this one doesn't have the label on the bottom, which might mean it's an oops kind of hard to say but this one is oh there we go a light shade of green kind of like a very pastel guacamole if you will um there is some shimmer in there i'm mainly seeing it as a light silver but i do see some sparkles of pink and blue trying to decide if this is one that i could see myself wearing and i think the answer is yes i also think this should be fairly unique to my collection i think most of the other polishes that i have that i would call avocado or guacamole are deeper shades than this so i think i want to at least give this a, a try this could be a very interesting one on so that was rescue beauty lounges ab or abby i'm not quite sure if the i is supposed to be part of it all right, next up, we have been tossing this one around for a while. Let's go ahead and look at this. This is the New Black Innovations of Color. It is a weekly journal, four-piece sets. Uh, four-piece set. I always see three, so that might be something else altogether. Let's see what this is. Actually, not even sure what brand it might be. Oh, I see. So that paper is part of it had to read the instructions on the inside. So it is a set of three. All right, so I'm losing stickers and everything, but it is a, that is exactly what it's supposed to be. It is a set of, oh, uh, like one nail polish, one maybe sticky base coat and a transfer solution, and then the paper. So you're supposed to transfer the paper onto your nails. The instructions are you polish your nails, let dry completely, be certain that the nail color is completely dry, cut a piece of the printed paper, close to the size and shape of your nail. Apply the transfer solution to one nail at a time. Make sure that you wet the whole nail and then you transfer that piece of paper onto your nail. So there we go. We have an entire like transfer nail kit. That is definitely a new one to me. So there we go. It is a typography from the new black. Very interesting. But in any case, we have what I'm guessing is a top coat or a sticky base coat. Um, you've got your transfer paper, a color, which seems to be kind of like a, a vintage paper sort of a shade, and then that transfer solution. So definitely interesting. I'll have to decide if this is something that I think I would use or not. I mean, it could be kind of interesting. I do love to read. I like books. So having letters like this that are actually print could be pretty interesting. I think we'll go ahead and keep this, at least for these two. That color is not my favorite, but it could could make a good base. All right, next up, let's do another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is called Motorini. Ooh, look at this aqua color. Oh my goodness. So this is a really beautiful turquoise aqua base. And then look at that purple shimmer. Wow. Again, with a very beautiful and unique combination. This particular tone of polish with that shimmer seems really unique. Wow. And it is definitely one I could see myself wearing. This is going in the collection for sure. That one's Rescue Beauty Lounge Motorini. That is so pretty. Next up, let's go ahead and do this Vapid. This one is called I'm Late. Okay, now this sounds familiar. Hang on, did we already unbox this? Yes, oh my goodness. I think this might actually be our third bottle of this. Wow. 
we unboxed one bottle from one of the other videos and then a second bottle from another video that went into the de-stash. So we are still going to keep one and de-stash the other. I don't exactly need a backup of this, although it is absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, keeping one, de-stashing the other. Next up, we have another Rescue Beauty Lounge. We're going to have lots of these in this video. This one is called, oh my, Tre... Uh, whoa, how would you say that? I am actually not really sure how you would say that. I know the rouges down here, kind of, at least in English. I don't know if you would say that different in, if this is like French or something, but there's the label. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what color this is. Ooh, it's a beautiful berry shade. It is one of their creams. This is a very, very nice color. I have been keeping quite a lot in this tone. Ooh, it's a squishy one. It's a jelly. There we go. This actually could be a lot more unique than I gave it credit for initially because it is a jelly, not a cream. So this is going to go in the keep pile. Again, I do have a load of comparisons that are going to have to be done after I'm done with this haul and can get my collection organized, <laughs> but that's going to go in the keep pile for now. All right, next up, we've got one from Glittering Elements. This one is called Proto V1621. Ooh, we've got a pink with hollow and a little bit of a gold glimmer. Let's see if it's a little bit more pronounced in the bottle. Yeah, I think I'm seeing kind of a dustier tone to this one. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've just been more excited about other pinks. I have been keeping quite a lot of pinks, but this one's just not doing it for me for whatever reason. So I think we will go ahead and pass this one along. That is Glittering Elements Prototype V1621. Next up, we have a julep. This one is called Hazel, and it was part of their Boho Glam line. And this one I think I will take out of the box, mainly because it was put in there upside down. There we go. So this is a beautiful purple metallic. There is a warm orangey gold shift to it. This is gorgeous. I think this might be more of a duochrome than a multi-chrome, but this could be absolutely gorgeous on. I will be putting this in the to be checked pile to see if I do already own it because I did have the julep subscription box for quite a number of years, but we'll put this in the to be checked pile and I can make sure if I own it or not. Uh, same rules as always will apply with that. If I check on this and I do own it, it'll go in the de-stash. If I don't own it, it will most likely go in the collection at least until I can swatch it and compare it. So that was Hazel from Julep. Next up, we've got a mini from Anonymous Lacquer and this one is called Bridezilla. This one is a white with a load of shimmers. I'm seeing lots of different colors in there. This one is a mini size or a half size. These aren't as small as some minis get. Some get very, very small, uh, but this color is just not really speaking to me. I have kept a number of white polishes from this haul so far, uh, but yeah, this one, I just don't know how it would compare to the other ones that I've already kept. It does seem to be a nice off white almost, which is making me try start to second guess that decision, but I think I'm going to force myself to just go with it. We're going to go ahead and de-stash that one. That is Anonymous Lacquer Bridezilla. Next up, let's do this one. I believe this is a Cult Nails, still in its little burrito, and this is Get It On. Ooh, which means it's one of their, what is this? What was this? Their base coats, perfecting base coats. Nice. So we have actually run into a lot of these and I have been keeping them because I go through base coats. I use base coats every single time I paint my nails. So it is something that I can definitely make use of. So that was another base coat from Cult Nails going in the keep pile. Next up, ooh, we've got a hollow box from Fun Lacquer. This one is, ooh, another limited edition from 2015. This one is Daydreamer. Ooh, it's another that has glitter this time in a beautiful aqua blue shade you have holographic glitter wow this is another one that is really really gorgeous i love all the twinkles that you're getting from the glitter you not only have the holographic but you've got these little yeah you can definitely see those those little like sapphire blue glowing ones that is a stunning combination so definitely going in the keep pile that one is fun lacquers daydreamer Next up, we've got one from CBL and another purple hollow. This one is Living on Borrowed Time. 
It was a polish of the month for April 2017. Ooh, so this is a beautiful shade of a mid-toned purple. It's very juicy. And of course, it has that amazing holographic flair. Again, I've been just very impressed by the linear hollows that I've been unboxing from this brand so far in this haul. As I mentioned in other videos, this is still by far the leading brand that we've unboxed from this haul so far. So I have a huge tote that has double layers of Colors by La in it. So I'm definitely going to have to do some sorting videos at the end of this just to make sure that I didn't run into any duplicates that I didn't remember. But this is going to go in the keep pile. It's a purple. I love purple. So I am going to hold on to that until I can do that sorting video. And then of course comes the comparisons. So that was Colors by La Living on Borrowed Time. Next up is another Colors by La This one is Stars at Night. It was part of the Summer 2016 collection. And we have another purple. Ooh, okay, this is similar to another one that we found from this brand. And these are like a silver that twinkles in kind of a jelly base. I love how this looks. These are so twinkly. Um, and yeah, this is a beautiful shade of a juicy, deep purple. Oh yeah, look at this color. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. The glitters in this are just so sparkly love how that looks so this is definitely going in the keep pile that's colors by la Roe, stars at night next up we have another cult nails this one is called analicious okay i know we've run into analicious before i think it might have been one that i did de-stash because it has two of the colors that aren't my favorites this is like a bright in your face bold red and it has a very strong gold shimmer. So this is going to go where the other one went in the de-stash. I just don't see myself reaching for this shade. So that was Cult Nails Analicious. Next up, we have an anonymous lacquer, and this is Sea of Stars. This is from the Hella Handmade Creations Anniversary for February 2016. Ooh, and it's a blue hollow. This has lovely linear flair to it. And I don't know if you can see the little pink twinkles throughout. Yeah, see those little tiny pink ones? It has a micro flaky that has purple and pink flashes in it. And I think there might be another component. Yeah, there's like a subtle silver sheen to it right there. This is another one that I'm fairly certain that I haven't found yet. Again, I'll have to do that sorting at some point. I know we have run into some other ones from the Hella Handmade Creations anniversary from 2016. Actually, we've run into two of them, I guess. <laughs> and they were both from Anonymous Lacquer. So we had Make Midas Blush and Mwah! So <laughs> there we have it. So this one is definitely a different one, one we haven't run into yet. And this is going in the keep pile. Really pretty shade there. So that was another anonymous lacquer, Sea of Stars. Next up, we have a little guy from Delush Polish. This one is called Ocean Sapphire. And this is a really cute, like aqua turquoisey blue with a load of glitters and a green shimmer. Look at that twinkle. So this one is really pretty. It's kind of a mermaidy shade. You've got those blues and greens and a load of holographic and maybe even iridescent glitter. Yeah, I think there's iridescent glitter in there. This one actually might go on the keep pile. I know it's a mini, but I really, really like this color. Yeah, this is just really pretty. The iridescent glitter will almost get me every single time. Plus it has that blue and green mix, which is Another of my very lengthy list of favorite combinations, but I don't have this one yet, so that's going to go in the keep pile. That was Delush Polish Ocean Sapphire. Next up, we have Occult Nails. This one is Quench. Now, the name doesn't sound familiar, but the color kind of does, but I'm thinking we got another shade of this Oxblood Dark Burgundy from this brand that was maybe more of a jelly. Let's see what this one is. Actually, this is a bit of a jelly as well. There is on the wand. But yeah, it doesn't look like we ran into this color yet. So this is going to go in the keep pile. This is actually very close to the first shade of the red family that I ever wore. And I loved it. So I definitely want to see how this compares to other ones in my collection. That's Cult Nails Quench going in the keep pile. All right, next up. Ooh, we have another Illyrian. This one is Zombie Star. Ooh, and this one is a white creamy polish. Look at that glow. You have this very strong green aqua glow in a slightly off white curly base. 
Now, white bases are not necessarily my favorite, usually, unless they've got like a glitter mix, but I'm curious enough about this glow in here to see how it ends up coming across on the nail. I can't quite tell currently if that's going to be a popping glow like it's coming across here, or if it's going to be more subtle like it was on the brush, but I know this is one I don't have, and it is one of Valerian's older polishes, so this is going to go in the keep pile again at least until I can do those comparisons. So that is Valerian's Zombie Star. Next up, let's do another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is called Oh Slap. I think that's got to be a play on Oh Snap, maybe. <laughs> oh, look at this. So this is a light, like rosy rose pink. And it seems to be squishy. Oh yeah, this is definitely a squishy light pink. Now this might surprise some of my regulars because most of the time I downplay these kind of pinks, but I actually really like the idea of it being in a sheerer base. And I want to see how this ends up looking. I don't know if in what order these videos will post. Um, this is part 22. I don't I hope I said that at the beginning, part 22 um, of this haul. I did end up getting a couple of Goodwill bags at some point, and I don't know when those are going to be maybe interspersed among these or what, but I, uh, in, in one of those Goodwill hauls, I did end up with a lot of sheerer pinks, and I actually liked a number of them. So I want to see how this would compare. And I know it's one I don't own yet. So that one's going in the keep pile as well. That was Rescue Beauty Lounge. Oh, slap. Next up, we have another julep. This one is called Nicolette, and it was part of their bombshell line. This one looks like a white polish, just a white polish. I don't see shimmer or hollow. It does need a bit of a shake. But yeah, I mean, I'm really not seeing any additional components in here. It just seems to be a white polish. Would that really have been part of their bombshell line? No, nope, there we go. That says Nicolette. All right, well... I've already kept some white polishes. I don't need all of them. I have been contemplating putting together a white comparisons because I do have a number of them at this point. I'm curious to see if there's any tonal differences, opacity differences, formulations, and things like that. So maybe we'll go ahead and add this just because, because I have it, it's here, and see how it does compare to those other white polishes. But that was Julep's Nicolette going in the keep pile, at least for those comparisons. All right, next up, we have another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is Gondolier. Oh my, we have another bold red. Wow, yeah, this is kind of like a classic lipstick red. It is vibrant and bright. Oh yeah, I mean, that is like very classic, straight up red. I've already kept a few reds that are kind of along this line that have tonal differences that I actually think I would be more drawn to if I was ever going to wear a classic red. So I think I will go ahead and de-stash this one. That was Gondolier from Rescue Beauty Lounge. Next up, let's do this little guy. This is on the absence of, which I think based on the font, I think is a Love Angeline. It is one of their mini bottles and we have another white with shimmer. So this is kind of along the lines of Bridezilla from Anonymous Lacquer, where we have a white base with a load of shimmer. They are different shades of shimmer. I think there's actually more aqua and green in Bridezilla. And there's a bit more of the pinks in On the Absence Of. But again, it's just, there. this kind of color has to have some very unique things in it for me to be drawn to it. And I just don't know that I would reach for this one. So we're going to put that in the D-stash as well. Next up, let's do this one. This is another Cult Nails and this is Blackout. I wonder if that means it's their black. Maybe, maybe not. Actually, it might be a charcoal. Yeah, I think this is a deep charcoal gray. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the tonal differences on camera, but it is definitely a almost blue leaning deep charcoal. That's going to the keep pile, you guys. I love myself some good grays. So again, comparisons will have to be done on this color grouping as well, but that is Cult Nails Blackout going in the keep pile. 
Next up, we have a Colors by the Row. Look at the shifts on this one. This is Paradise of Lights from the Winter 2017 collection. Now, that one does sound familiar, you guys. Well, I gave it a shot and tried to look, but like I said, I do have a tote and a half full of Colors by the Row plus the very large stash that I have set aside in my tote of favorites, and I can't find it immediately. Now, that doesn't mean that I haven't run across it already, but this one's going to go in the keep pile for the time being again, at least until I can do that sorting video and just make sure that I haven't run across uh, any duplicates that I've ended up keeping. But I mean, look at the colors on this thing. You have this deep sapphire blue base with this very strong yellow to green shifting shimmer. Plus you have these holographic particles in here. This is very, very bold, very unique love this one. So we're going to hold on to that. That is Colors by Laro Paradise of Lights. Next up, we have another Cult Nails. This one is called Center of Attention. Now, this is another one that does sound familiar. I don't know if we have run across it or not. I don't see it offhand. I do have my Cult Nails set aside in a little tote base up so I can peruse the labels when necessary. Uh, this is a mix of pink glitters, silver glitters and like a light copper. I'm trying to determine if some of them in here are iridescent. It's in a squishy pink base. Hmm. I, well, if we did run into this, I, I don't think I've set it aside in the keeps. I don't see it, but I actually want to give this one a shot. I think this could look really fun over another pink or even a lighter shade of pink. I did a really cute accent nail, at least I thought so, <laughs> on this ring finger a couple of manis ago where I had a light shade from Night Owl Lacquer and then a slightly darker shade of pink in a flaky over the top of it. And I really liked how that looked. I think this could be a really nice polish to use for a type of accent nail like that. So I'm going to hold on to this one. That is Cult Nails Center of Attention. Next up, we've got one from Love Angeline. This one is called Love Abides. We have another purple, folks. This has beautiful components in it. Look at that. We've got a dark purple that has these glowing blue purple and indigo flakes like micro flakies and then you have a slightly larger flaky there that has some more shifts and there's some even bigger ones in blues like a golden champagne and some fuchsia this has beautiful components in it this is another one that I'm fairly certain we didn't run into yet. So this is going to go in the keep pile. Again, I'm going to have to compare all of my purples, but I already know that. So I'm going to hold on to this one as well. That one is Love Angeline. Love abides. Next up, we've got another Love Angeline. This is one that had an attack from another nail polish. At some point, there must have been a polish bottle that either broke or spilled or something. So this one is missing its bottom label, but it is a green. Hard to say from the outside of the bottle what the colors are because it does have scatterings of nail polish on it, but there we go. This is definitely in that shade range of a limey green that I have been not keeping very many from, so I think I will go ahead and de-stash this one as well. Same reasons. I just don't know that I would like this one on. I have worn a shade kind of like this, and I just didn't like it on my skin tone, so this is going to go in the de-stash as well. That is a lime green from Love Angeline. No label. Next up, we've got a Pipe Dream. Okay, so I think this is actually our first bottle from Pipe Dream. And I know I've seen this brand before, but I think it was probably in a mystery box or a D-stash or something like that. So most likely I don't have whatever polish this is. This is Turn the Page. It is a February and Final PDTLIB. Very cool. Okay, so first of all, it's a gorgeous color. Second of all, I know I don't have it because, like I said, I don't have very many from this brand. Now, this is a stunning combination. Again, you've got a very strong shimmer throughout. This one is, oh, even stronger at, us, at that angle. Holy moly. So you have this pink to maybe even a light red shimmer in here. I think maybe a bit of gold at other angles. All in this, like, deep indigo blurple. On the neck, I think it might be bluer. Yeah. In any case, it's going to the key pile. This is a stunning color. Just another beautiful combination. And like I said, I know I don't have this one. So that's Pipe Dream Polish Turn the Page. Next up, we have another Cult Nails. This one is called Let's Get Dirty. And this one is like a putty 
flesh tone. <laughs> like a slight mauve, but toned way, way down. Lots of gray in this one as well. Very interesting. This one is a bit more on the pink side compared to some of the other ones that are yellow based. There is a shimmer in here, kind of subtle. I think you can sort of see it gleaming on the wand there. This is actually one of those colors that could possibly look really nice on. Uh, no, I think we'll give it a shot. Uh, I don't see it in the keep pile, I don't think. So we're gonna go ahead and give this one a try and see how it goes. But that one was Cult Nails. Let's get dirty going in the keep pile. Next up, we've got another Cult Nails and a purple. This one is called Flushed. Ooh, so this is absolutely gorgeous. I can tell you right now it's going in the keep pile because it's a purple. And again, it has that beautiful, strong pink flash. And I don't think we've run into this one before. So yeah, most definitely going in the keep pile. That was Cult Nails Flushed. Next up, we have another fun lacquer. This one is called Distinct. It's another from the Limited Editions 2015. Ooh, look at this one. So this is a very interesting combination, very complex. I think on camera, you can see the base a bit better than I can in person. It's a dark blue, and then you have a load of these like crushed flakies. There's a pink shifting shimmer that is gold and green at other angles. You've got hollow in here. Wow. I mean, this is quite, quite the mix. There it is on the wand. Oh yeah, look at all that rainbow. You can see the color of blue there on the wand. This is really, really pretty. So this is going to go in the keep pile as well. That's Fun Lacquers Distinct. All right, next up, let's do a Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is Meow Meow. It's Meow Meow. How cute. Ooh. We have green glitter, like emerald green in maybe a slightly tinted green base. That is beautiful. Let's see if it is sheer. Oh yeah, most definitely sheer. You can see this on the clear wand. No color, just green glitter. That is cute. This is definitely going to the keep pile. I don't know that I have anything like this as far as the topper goes, so we'll have to see how it ends up comparing when I do all of my comparisons, but that is really pretty, and I love the name. So that's Meow Meow from Rescue Beauty Lounge, going in the keep pile. Next up, let's do this little duo from Julep. We've got Saya and Larie. I think that's how you pronounce those. Saya with two A's and Larie with two E's, both from the bombshell line. So Larie is a like Barbie pink, maybe a slightly coral leaning Barbie pink with a golden gleam. Now, as much as I keep saying that I don't like golds very much and I am not the biggest fan of certain shades of pink, for whatever reason, this color combination actually is one I really, really enjoy. So this is going to go in the Do I Have It pile to see if I have Lurie. And then Saya is like a shell peach, again with a very similar, if not the same, golden gleam. This combination, however, doesn't have enough contrast for me. Also, the peach, I just don't think I would like against my skin tone. So this is going to go in the D-stash. That one was Julep's Saya. Next up, we've got one from Super Chic. This one is called Gloia. And this one might be in the same collection as a few of the others that we've uh, unboxed. It is a squishy jelly base loaded with iridescent glitters. I mean, look at all the different sizes. Wow. The base of this is a stunning shade of purple, plus you have all of those different colors in the glitters. This is another one I know I don't have, so it's going to go in the keep pile as well. Look at those little teeny tiny pink sparkles. This is a stunning, stunning mix. So that is Super Chic Lacquer's Gloia. Next up is another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is called Gambien. I did take Spanish in school, but that was ninth grade. It's been quite, a, quite some time. <laughs> Um, let's see. This one is like a light gold. There are more shimmers in here. You've got that light silver sort of as the main flash in this. 
but there are sparkles of yellow, green, pink, and orange when you look closer. So this is definitely kind of along those lines of a gold. It is a lighter shade of gold. It has maybe a pinch of orange in some angles, but I just, I'm just not drawn to it. So we're going to go ahead and de-stash Rescue Beauty Lounge Combien. And let's do another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is Small Dim Summer Stars. Interesting. So this one seems to be a blackened base of some kind. Yeah, blackened base. There we go. There's a lot of a green particle in here with a bit of some purples and blues twinkling. This is definitely in that line of colors that I have been de-stashing quite a lot of. The super blackened bases or the very moody almost black bases that don't have a lot of contrast. So while this does have colors in it, it's got a beautiful green and it does have those pops of purple and fuchsia. I'm just not as drawn to this as I have been other colors. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the D stash. That was Rescue Beauty Lounge Small Dim Summer Stars. Next up, we have one from Liquid Sky Lacquer. This is Teal It Like It Is. So this is a linear holographic, like a light teal and then it has a golden shimmer so again gold is not my favorite but this is another combination where i actually like it i think it looks very complimentary in this kind of a color so this is going to go in the keep pile as well i will have to do some comparisons with this color family as well but for the time being we're going to hold on to it so that was liquid sky lacquer teal it like it is up next look at this cute one it is a stardust polish called autumn sky now that one does sound familiar, but it is possible I ran into another polish from another brand that was called Autumn Sky. This one is a white curly with glitters. You've got blue, silver hollow, gold, metallic, and there's there might be other colors in here as well. Now this is a pretty cute color. I want to at least hold on to this and see how it compares to other white Crellies that I have. I think I probably will end up getting rid of some, but I do like this combination. I think the other one that I have from them is kind of like certs with, yeah, a bit more on the aqua and silver side. That one was Zeus. So we're going to put that in the keep pile. That was Stardust Polish Autumn Sky. Next up, we have another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is called Gelato Al Chocolato. I'm, I'm trying to say chow for that part, the C-I-O, but I can't make that work with that, this double C and olato. So I'm just not sure. I know it's gelato. We'll go with that. Gelato, and I'm guessing something to do with chocolate. Ooh, yes, this is definitely a milk chocolate. Okay, this is going in the keep pile, you guys. Um, I don't know if you recall me saying before, but in quite a few other videos, I mentioned I was looking for a milk chocolate brown. This is it. This is exactly the shade that I was looking for. I can only hope that it actually looks good on me. We'll have to see how it looks, but I love this kind of milky, uh, milky light chocolate. The tone of this is exactly what I had in mind. So I'm really excited to find this one. And yeah, we'll, we'll have to see how it looks on me, but I'm excited about this one. So that was Rescue Beauty Lounges. Something about gelato and, and chocolate is my guess. All right, next up we have another Cult Nails. This is Let Me Fly. Ooh, we've got a dusty teal. This has a load of shimmers. You've got pinks, greens, and silvers. This is a color I could definitely see myself wearing. I really like this tone of a teal. Teals in general, I think a lot of colors actually that mix uh, two colors on the color wheel into another one. I think that's why I enjoy blurples so much is there a mix of blue and purple. Then you have teals that are a mix of blue and green. So this is going to go in the keep pile as well. So that is Cult Nails Let Me Fly. All right, let's go ahead and do some shuffling around, bring everybody into the pool, into the center. Let's do this one. I think this is our first never enough of this video. And this one is Forbidden Unicorn Fruit. And it's another purple. Oh my goodness, this shade is stunning. This one is a deeper, dusty, fall-toned purple. You've got that amazing hollow. And then look at that pink 
sort of pink to gold flash in there. This is definitely going in the keep pile. This particular shade is a lot different than a lot of the other shades of purple we've been unboxing. I love every single shade of purple, but this should definitely stand out among the other purple hollows that we've been keeping so far. And I don't think this is one I own yet. So going in the keep pile for sure. That was never enough's forbidden unicorn fruit. Next up, we have a green from Colors by LaRoe. This one is called Bohemian Rhapsody, and it was the June 2016 PTR. I I'd imagine that's like polished something, but I don't know what the TR might be. But this green, oh, oh my goodness. I mean, do you see that glow? Wow. In person, it is more vibrant of a green. I feel like this shimmer is playing with the tone of the green on camera and sort of softening it, which is a beautiful shade. But in person, it still is that pretty bright lime green. But I mean, look at that glow. You have shifts of purple and pink. There's some gold in here. Plus, you've got that hollow. This is going to the keep pile. I think this is going to be really unique to my collection as well. We'll have to see if I end up liking this on, but it's worth a shot. That is really unique. That's Colors by Laro Bohemian Rhapsody. Next up, let's next up let's do this Crowley oh it's another Emily Damali I think our first one of this video and this one is called it's complicated okay that sounds familiar that definitely sounds familiar it is a white Crowley with purple black and silver glitters now I'm 99% sure I've run into this from a mystery box and I would have kept it. So this is going to go ahead and go in the D stash. Really cute polish, but I don't need a backup of it. So that is Emily Damali's It's Complicated. Next up, we have another cult nails and this one is called Ignite. And this looks to be a black jelly or crelly loaded with silver glitters. Now this is definitely one of the kinds of polishes that I would have purchased early on mainly from mainstreams because this is one of the types of finishes that you could find before I discovered indie polish was even a thing and I just never ended up wearing them and I can't tell if it's this particular shade of black or the fact that there's silver glitters but there's this yeah actually I think you can see it there there's sort of this ashy brownish gold lean to the tint of the black so I two things against it. Um, I just don't think I would wear this combination. And because of that tint, that lean of a gold in the base, we're going to go ahead and put that in the D stash. That's Cult Nails Ignite. Next up, let's do another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is Elvis in the Clouds. Ooh, wow. So this is a copper multi-chrome. Look at that. So it's probably going to be a little on the sheer side, but you've got that copper to gold to pink look at that this is a beautiful combination i don't know yeah there we go there's that really strong gold yellow this is another really unique polish very beautiful i will have to compare it to some of my orange multichromes but i don't think i have one that has this strong of a light like light copper main base with that pink flash so I am curious how it would compare but I know I don't have this one so this is going to the keep pile that's rescue beauty lounge Elvis in the cloud next up let's do this one I think this might be our last Rococo nail polish from this tote this one is called new geisha interesting so I can't quite tell if that is like a gray charcoal or if there's a purple lean to it Actually, maybe like a taupe lean to it. Very, very intriguing. Hmm. I think this is going to go in the keep pile as well. I want to at least see how this one would swatch on. You see that sort of metallic light brown gleam to it? That I think could look really nice. It's kind of reminding me of a, of a type of obsidian that has a glow in it. Not the golden obsidian and not the regular black black obsidian, but the kind that has a silver sheen to it. So yeah, that, that's really catching my eye. We're going to add that to the collection. Plus it has those little tiny large particle shimmers twinkling away. They are in pinks, golds, aquas, maybe a little bit of purple. 
Yeah, and it's another one I know I don't have. So that is Rococo's New Geisha. Next up, we're going to do another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is called Awi. Oh, <laughs> I think that's what that is. Awi. Oh, <laughs> My guess is it is French, no? And we have oh, a stunning color. Oh my goodness. So this is a beautiful light periwinkle. I would almost go cornflower, but there's even more purple than I feel like cornflower blue has. And this is just gorgeous. It is a cream polish, but this color, you guys, this might have to make it to my favorites. I absolutely adore colors like this. Again, it's in that blurpily family, a mix between blue and purple. And those just really are so striking to my eyes. I can't even explain it. So that is going in the keep pile in case you were wondering. <laughs> That's Rescue Beauty Lounge. Oh, we. Next up is a parrot polish. This one is called Exclusive March 2016 Four Peas. So parrot polish something something? Parrot polish party polish? I don't know. P P P P just a bunch of peas. Ooh, we've got a mermaid shade. Look at that. So this is another instance actually that has a golden gleam in it that I really like the combination of. It's again more of that contrast. So you have that mermaidy blue aqua base with a green to gold shifting shimmer. This is definitely a color I could see myself wearing. Look at that combination. Wow. So yeah, this is going to go in the keep pile. Again, I will have to do comparisons of this color family at some point, but I don't think I have this one. So that's going to go in the keep pile as well. That is Four Peas by Parrot Polish. Next up, let's do another Rescue Beauty Lounge. And this one is called Pretty Gritty. Ooh, we've got another dusty purple. Look at that. And more golden gleam. So again, this is another combination where I actually feel like it could work. We'll have to see how I end up liking it on. I do feel like those other combinations, the pinks and the aquas are a bit more of a favorite combination than this one, but we'll at least give it a shot. I know I don't have this one. And this tone of a dusty like fall light purple is really one of my favorites as well. So that's going to go in the keep pile. That was Rescue Beauty Lounge Pretty Gritty. Next, we've got a Love Angeline. This one is a prototype and we have hollow glitter and matte black glitter. This is a really fun combination of all of the different sizes of hollow. I think there might even be little square ones. This one is really cute. I'm trying to decide if I don't already have something like it. So we're going to take a look at it on the brush and see if I can't pinpoint any other particles. I'm seeing like medium, medium sized glitter and down. So a bunch of different sizes and those little teeny tiny squares. I think this is at least going to go in the keep pile until I can do those comparisons. Again, I love topper polishes and I don't think I have anything exactly like this with those teeny tiny squares. A lot of times when I'm seeing square glitters, they are larger. So they're at least uh, the size of that one here, which those in this one, in this mix are the hex glitters and the square ones. If I can find one again, are actually smaller. Yeah, that little guy right there. So yeah, just a really cute mix. I also like the scattering of the black matte glitters in here. So I wanna see how it compares to all of the other hollow toppers that I have. I have a tendency of keeping them because they're hollow and they're pretty. So <laughs> we'll have lots of those to compare as well, but that was Love Angeline, one of their prototypes. Next up, we have another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is called Ethereal. Ooh, okay. Wow, look at this one. So this is almost like a very, very pale, pale, pale yellow, if not off white. And then it has a very strong pink glow to it. Yeah, this is a pretty unusual color. Again, I'm curious how it will look. It might actually be less yellow leaning than I thought it might be. But I mean, look at the tone there. That doesn't seem stark white to me. And maybe that's just the shimmer. Maybe there's a shift in that shimmer that's playing with the color, but this is actually going to go in the keep pile. With white polishes, it's hard to say what will catch my eye, but this shimmer definitely has. So that's going to go in the keep pile. Again, I'll have to do swatches on all of these to see if they go on the official keep list, but this is a really beautiful one. And again, very unique to my collection. So that was Rescue Beauty Lounge Ethereal. All right, let's go straight to another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is called Sunny Skies. Color guesses, maybe a yellow? No. 
we're going with the sky color. That is a nice one. So this is kind of like a dusty green leaning turquoise in a cream base. Yeah, that's nice. I like this one better on the brush than I did in the bottle. In the bottle, I was a little bit eh, meh about it, but I think this could look beautiful on. It's got that dusty quality to it, and I love shades like this for summer as well as early fall. So this is going in the keep pile. That is Rescue Beauty Lounge Sunny Skies. And I just realized how big that is chip looks on camera. I haven't been paying attention, so apologies about that. I need to do my nails again. All right, next up we've got another Colors by LaRoe. This one is called, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's a tongue twister and I'm pretty sure I've run into another polish that had this as the name and I couldn't say it. Let's see if I can this time. She sells sea shells. <laughs> Okay, from the spring 2017 collection, that can be quite the tongue twister. Um, this one is another hollow, I think in a red. And like I said, the name is definitely ringing a bell. I don't know if it was because I've run into this polish by Colors by LaRoe or if it was by another brand, but this is a kind of a pink leaning red hollow. You've got some shimmer in here as well, I think. Yeah, there we have it on the brush. Beautiful glow to this one, wow. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the to be checked pile. As I mentioned before, reds aren't necessarily my favorite, but I love them when they have a pink glow and the hollow will get me 99% of the time. So I want to at least see if I did end up running across this before and adding it to my collection. And if I don't see it in my nail polish app, I want to at least see how this compares to other colors in my collection of the ones that I've kept from this haul, especially, uh, and go from there. So that's Colors by row. She sells seashells. All right, let's see what this one is. I think these have been, yeah, these have been Love Angelines. Ooh, this is another prototype. Look at this one. So this is an interesting mix. You've got, I mean, ignore the discoloration or uh, separation on that side, but this is a very interesting kind of muted fuchsia to like a red. There's a red tone to this. It's pretty unique. Look at that. I'm curious enough about this one to at least see how this one swatches. Again, it strikes me as a pretty unique color. It has that beautiful linear rainbow. Yeah, that's just a very unusual shade. So I want to at least see how this one swatches and then we'll go from there. But that was Love Angeline's Another Prototype. Next up, let's do another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This is Forgotten Road. Ooh, we have another cream and this is a dark gray, eh, more like a mid-toned shade of a dark gray. And there's kind of like a blue tint to this. It is a cream. Yeah, this is a nice one. Colors like this might not be the most exciting, but I think they look really nice on. I want to see how this compares to other grays that I have in my collection. For a long time, I was collecting different shades of gray, and I don't think I ever came back and did a comparison of them. So I want to see how this would compare and see if I can't pick out a few favorites and go from there as far as that goes. But this one I know I don't have, so we're going to add that to the collection. That was Rescue Beauty Lounge Forgotten Road. Next up, we've got something covered in nail polish. <laughs> I can see that there's a label under there. I just cannot read it. Um, but okay, so I think that might be it. UNT, maybe. And it doesn't appear to be named. It just has a number and it's partially covered in nail polish as well. But something, something 45. I think this is another gray polish. This one I think is more on the sheer, slightly sheer side. Um, not quite a jelly, but a bit on the squishy side. There are some shimmer components to this as well. This one though is just not really speaking to me. So I think we're going to go ahead and put this one in the D stash. I'll have to see about maybe trying to clean it up so that it isn't quite so bad. Um, I'm still trying to decide if maybe those will be freebies or if I just disclose that some polish was attacked by another polish. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. But um, that one is UNT Unknown Gray Polish. Next up is another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is called Q the Montage. Oh wow, look at this color. So this is kind of like a 
a muted tennis ball yellow with a pinch of green. There are some silver glitters in here. And you guys, I think I'm going to surprise some of you because this is going to the keep pile. There's something about this that I actually like. It's definitely outside my comfort zone. Um, why do I like this one so much? <laughs> Look at that. I mean, that is not a color that I think I've ever actually worn, but there's something about it with those silver glitters that I want to at least try. So we're going to put that in the collection. I like the softness, I think, maybe that that glitter adds. So we're going to give it a go. That's cue the montage from Rescue Beauty Lounge. Yeah, man, they, they just keep surprising me with very, very unique polish. Let's go straight to another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is better than boyfriend jeans. Ooh, we've got a very, very light blue. Like this would almost be acid wash denim. That is a nice shade of blue. So again, not the most exciting color, but I get the feeling that this could look adorable on. Oh yeah, this is another one going in the key pile, you guys. <laughs> so that was Rescue Beauty Lounge, better than boyfriend jeans. Let's do this cult nails. This one is called My Kind of Kool-Aid. All right, so this one I know we have. I can actually see the bottle from here. Ooh, and this one has faded. So this must be a newer bottle. This must be an older bottle. They do have different labels on the base as well. I kind of like this faded one as well, though. It is my kind of, my kind of color. Ooh. So yeah, it definitely has faded. You can see that on the neck of the bottle there. It was darker. But like I said, this is my kind of color. I going to add the faded version as a second version to the collection. <laughs> Again, this is another color family I definitely have to do comparisons of, but I like it. So we're going to add it. That's Cult Nails, a faded version of my kind of Kool-Aid. All right. Next up is another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This is Galaxy Glue. Ooh, I like the name already. What is this one going to look like? Ooh, okay. Wait a second. I think I actually have this one. So this is another very unusual base. It's got kind of a green pea soup, light green base, which I think you can kind of see there on the wand. And then it is jam packed full of this amazing shifting shimmer that has aqua, a brighter shade of green, and then at certain angles, a bit of purple. I don't know if that's going to show up, but this is going to go in the to be checked pile. I need to confirm that I do own this bottle because if I don't, it's going to the collection. <laughs> but if I do end up owning it, it'll go in the D stash. So that was Rescue Beauty Lounge Galaxy Glue. I think that might have been one that I ended up getting in a D stash if I'm remembering correctly. Next up, we have a julep. This one is called Ryan and it was from the It Girl line. This is like a muted gray leaning teal cream. Yeah, this is a pretty nice color as well. I'm going to put Ryan in the to be checked pile because it is a julep. I might have it already, but we'll check on that one. Ooh, and a little loose label, the Memphis Blues. I wonder who that goes to. Next up, we've got another get it on. So this is another base coat from Colt Nails going in the keep pile and another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is Bon 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 Journey. I feel like I should know how to pronounce that. If someone tells me, I'll probably be like, oh, duh, but um, Bon, Bon Journey? What color is this? Ooh, look at this one. So this has like a muted, almost gray base with a huge pop of that rosy pink glow. This is another very unusual one from this brand. They just seem to specialize or seemed to specialize in very unusual mixes. This is another one that's going to go in the keep pile. With this one being so sheer though, I am curious how I will like this, but I like it enough in the bottle to at least give it a shot. Maybe this would look really cool over a taupe, but that pink glow, you guys, wow. I don't know if you can see the shifts going on in it, that little bit of a like gold that is popping up at certain angles almost seems to have a pinch of green at the extreme. We'll have to see if that actually comes out on the nail, but that one's going in the collection as well. That was Rescue Beauty Lounge. Bon giorno. All right, let's do another Rescue Beauty Lounge. We're coming up on the last half dozen or so. This one is Bubblegum Punk. If I had to guess, 
I would say this is going to be a pink. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought for certain with bubblegum in the name that this would be a pink, but no, we have a shimmer topper. This has all the colors you have. No, we don't have that. Now Ethan wants in the room. He's already eaten. Uh, this has aqua. It has blue, yellow, green, a pink. It has all the colors. So this is a very beautiful topper. Look at that. So this is going to go in the keep pile as well. Again, another one that I'm going to have to do some comparisons of at some point, but I don't think I own this one. So that's Rescue Beauty Lounge Bubblegum Punk. Let's do another Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is Will They, Won't They? Ooh, nice. So this is another dusty gray leaning purple and wow. Yeah, this is a stunning combination. It has these, I think they might even be micro or small glitters in a green that has some blue flashes. This is gorgeous. So that's definitely going in the collection. That was Rescue Beauty Lounge. Will they, won't they? Next up is a fun lacquer and this is Storm. Another limited edition from 2015. Look at that. This is another stunning color. I think the bottle might be cracked though. Yeah, I can't quite tell. You see that? That definitely looks like a crack, but let's see if it is okay. Yeah, it's not breaking the air seal, so that's good. I'll just have to be very careful with it. Look at the color though. This is a dusty, a dusty gray leaning purple, but this time it has a bit of rose in it. There's, of course, the holographic glitter and the different shimmers as well. This is a very unique polish, so this is going to go in the keep pile as well. That is Fun Lacquer's Storm. All right, just a few more. Up next, we have another julep. This one is called Elise, and it was in the Bombshell line. This is another beautiful shade. I think there's a blue base there. And then you have a load of purple and pink shimmer. This is going to go in the check pile to see if I do already have this one. And if I don't, it'll go in the collection for swatches and comparisons. And if I do, it'll go in the D stash. Next up, we have Hypnotize Me from Cult Nails. Another bottle. Another bottle, you guys. This is probably the third bottle of this, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the third bottle that we've unboxed. And I've kept one, even though I already own a bottle. Uh, but I am de-stashing the second and I don't need a third bottle of it. So we will go ahead and put this one in the de-stash as well. Beautiful color though. Next up is another Cult Nails and this one is Evolution. Well, this is an interesting color. It's kind of a very faded peach, almost verging on a neutral color. Oops. Okay, so this has happened just a couple of times. So I've been showing everybody how to fix this if it happens to something in your collection. So when the brush is stuck in the bottle, basically just put the cap back on loosely and give it a little twist. That should loosen up the bottle, dislodge it from the stuck position. You screw your cap back on tight enough to reseat the brush, but not so tight that you break off the threads and that should get the brush reseated into the cap. So yeah, this is a very light washed out peach and I just don't really love it enough to keep it. Peach tones are often ones that just don't look very good on my skin tone. So we're going to go ahead and de-stash that one. That was Evolution by Cult Nails. And we've made it to the last one. We're going to close it out with a Rescue Beauty Lounge called Forgiveness. Ooh, and it is another dusty purple gray. Now, this one might be one I have too, because this would definitely have been a color I would have tried to get if I was aware of it. Yeah, that is just another beautiful color. So this is going to go in the to be checked pile. I didn't own that many, but we'll have to see if this was one of them. That was Rescue Beauty Lounge Forgiveness. Wow. And that wrapped it up at 70 bottles, you guys. That is the most for any video thus far. This is also almost an hour and a half of filming. So hopefully I can whittle this down for you guys so you aren't here forever. In any case, hopefully you guys had a good time hanging out with me and looking at beautiful polish. Let me know down below which ones were your favorites from this video. If we ran into any brands that you were familiar with. I think from this video, the new 
brand, at least that we haven't unboxed thus far, was the Pipe Dream. Other than that, oh, and then this one too, which we couldn't really tell it, but I think that was like UNT. So those I think were the only two new brands, but let me know if we ran into any of your favorite brands or favorite polishes. And as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully you guys had a, a nice time kind of taking a stroll through a memory lane with some of these older polishes or discovering new polishes along with me. If you're new, definitely make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos or the rest of this series when I post the videos. And I will see you in the next one.